like full time, a whole time. It's a whole grind. Gave myself the credit, bought it to me with no cosign. I don't need a loan, I'm on 10, I'm my own dime. Y'all got no control, it's like the sign away a whole life still. In a mother to my neck, I love a spot. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Lurley's YouTube channel. Um, I'm laughing a little bit because Jackson and I just had a talk about how much today is going to be a little bit of a struggle. Um, we are a little under five weeks out. So we just, Saturday was five weeks out. Now we're Monday. Um, currently finishing my breakfast. I'm having same pancake that I all like, you guys know, you guys know the drill. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of stevia on top of it. Um, but what was I just saying is that it's Monday. Um, I had a good weekend. Yesterday I actually trained shoulders and I had a refeed, my very first refeed in 19 weeks. So I had a filet mignon with some rice. It was delicious. And then I had oatmeal with my favorite almond butter on top of it. So today I woke up and I felt very lethargic. I don't know what it was. I think it's lethargic, the word. So um, it's almost 12 right now and it's just like a slow morning. I did my check-in with Kim. He's super, super happy. I'm happy with my ship as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just one of those days today, I guess. It's raining outside and it's just, ugh. But I didn't cancel on Jackson, I almost did. But I didn't because I'm just trying to show you guys the raw, the real. But I'm grateful, grateful to be healthy and alive. And five weeks out, I'm super excited. I worked on the merch yesterday. I think that might be why I went down a rabbit hole and I'm creating like five different shirts. Why, like, why five? I, I don't know. I'm just bringing it all to you guys and um, little sleep. With that being said, gonna finish this wonderful breakfast. Gonna show you guys a little bit of my pre-workout routine. We actually need to change the outfit today because I'm trying to get some content for Bombshell's new outfit. So that little vest is going to be in the, in the, it's going to be in the new drop. But I was wearing this outfit because I wanted to do cardio before Jackson came here, which I didn't, but it's okay. We'll just get it done a little bit later today. So I'm gonna go change outfit. Guys, this is the same video. It's going to be the same day. It's just me wearing a different outfit. So that way we kill two birds in one stone. Is that what they say, right? Yep. All right, you guys, we'll see you in a YouTube minute or a YouTube second. So, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't clean up my stuff, but I had the posing little seminar. Look, I made a little stage situation on Saturday. It was so cool. Hair tie retrieve. All my girly knows you only have one hair tie. We started at 100, but we only have one. And that's probably not even mine. You okay, what's going on? Uh, that's my guy, you guys. I'm so glad. He's never here on Mondays. We're Monday today, yeah? Yeah, we're Mondays. He's never here on Monday, but Coincidentally, oh, you will. Yeah, yeah. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. See, that's what I want to do right now, guys. But I need to go train. But that they know that's my guy. Been working on me for the Olympia and even before that. But um, my God, yeah. <sighs> All right. Ready? This this feels so good. I love this vest. But this is a new outfit, seamless from Bombshell. I don't really need to tell you guys about it but I've been wearing it already three times it's amazing it feels so good um, so we're gonna start over here with some wow what's the name Smith machine reverse lunges and we're gonna have it <laughs> and um, we're gonna have it reverse bended um, so the reverse bend I'm gonna explain to you guys how it works so reverse bended here is to release attention at the bottom where is the hardest. So 
at the top is going to be heavy where you're technically at the strongest or you have barely any tension, right? And then at the bottom is gonna help you catch some of the weight. So what you see now seems heavy, but at the bottom, I'm not gonna have 45. I'm gonna have 45 only at the top range of the motion, which is amazing if you wanna spend some time into the lengthening position of the movement, which is apparently where the gains are made. So I've been enjoying this for my form. Um, it's been a game changer for my upper glute development as well. All of this area that's really needed into bikini building. So that's what we're doing today. That's what we've been doing for years now, but a um, little bit more specific for my girlies out there that wants to get that done. So we're going to start with uh, two warming set over here and kind of go from there. I have no idea what I'm doing today. So hopefully this will give me some inspiration for today's workout. hard oh my god Damn. you saw me finding myself 118th have a little bit of a way to go but it's getting there first set First set. That's why it's so important to analyze your strength of the day. You know, for me to start with that way, it's probably not the smartest thing, but it was there and I'm lazy, so. Empty my mind. 
So I'm going to cut it short here because that is too light. So I just finished my three sets of reverse lunges. I'm going to go into a hack squat. So normally I would just start with a, a squat pattern. I love to do these just because it requires a little bit of more strength and energy. And not that I have energy right now, so I'm just trying to put them in the beginning so that way they're out of the way. Um, I haven't done hack squat in a long time so that's the squat I'm choosing to do today. When I started I had the reverse bend on and personally on that machine I like having the weight kind of like crashing on me. I know it sounds crazy but I like to feel the weight at the bottom so that way I can engage even more of my glutes and kind of get out of there. Like when I'm at the bottom I'm like okay get out of there. So, took off the reverse banded and then I started with a plate on each side. It's too light for me, so I'm not gonna keep going and do 25 reps. It's not worth it. I'm gonna go right into two plates on each side. All right, so first set. First working set, should be. Oh, that felt amazing. Amazing. Whew. Good set. I have two workouts a week. Every other workout I'm doing a circuit workout where I throw some hamstrings, a bit of quads, but it's um, less weight, more volume, and it's in rotation, right? So I always go from 
the past leg workout. So what movement am I missing? You know, did I do some kickbacks? Yes or no. Did I have done some abduction? Yes or no. I kind of go with part of the glutes that I haven't worked. If I didn't do a lot of hamstring, hamstrings and glutes are the main focus. So that's the first thing I'm thinking about. Then I always incorporate one squat patterns in every leg workout, one abduction pattern, one deadlift, not always, but most of the time like a hinge, you know, either a deadlift or a hyper 45. Um, and then one more isolation glute exercise. So it's either reverse hypers, um, glute kickbacks, bended sidewalk, and then a lunge pattern, which includes split squat, walking lunges, static lunges, reverse lunges. Either at the beginning of my workout, like I just did, or at the end completely. And that pretty much completes it. I do leg press only once a week and I've done it last week, so no leg press today. But yeah, pretty much the same thing I've been doing for 10 years. Same thing. And it stay, it, it keeps working? It, it does keep working, y'all. Consistency and there's a lot of things that you can do for progressive overload, obviously. Progressive overload is not just the load, it's not just the weight, right? So it's the tempo that you can change. Rest pauses, I've been loving the rest pauses. So you go at the bottom of the movement, you don't release the contraction, you stay there for two, three seconds and you kind of drive up from there. Slow eccentric, slow concentric. Um, one and a half rep, one and a quarter reps, partial reps. Oh my God, and on and on and on. So get creative with your workout, but stick to the movement patterns that works for you, which works for everybody, really. When to go up in weight? Let's, let me answer that for you. With my answer from my experience, when I don't feel pain from anywhere, I don't feel my lower back. I felt really, really good in my lower glutes. I feel like my form is, is good. So we're gonna test the water out by a 25 and not a 45 on each side. I know I'm able to drive up the 45 because I've done it before, but I wanna feel my glutes a lot in that movement and no hip flexors, at, at least as I can. So, and at least lower back as I can. I don't wanna drive from there, especially on a spine loaded exercise like this. Um, I want to be careful with my form. If it was a goblet squat or a belt squat or something that's, you know, from the bottom, I wouldn't be as careful with the weight because it's not spine loaded. But since I want to keep my waist as small as it can be, I'm careful with any spine loaded exercise. That's the weight for today. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one more working set here. Last <sighs> set, baby.
All right, so the gluteator, any abduction machines are great. This is just a different range of motion. So please don't get aggravated if you don't have it in your gym, it's okay. But I get it though, because I love this machine. So um, like I said to Jackson before, I don't have the issue of waiting for the machines. I have so many great machines in my disposition and I, I know that it's not the case for, for everyone. So I'm always trying to be mindful but like I said, keep in mind, any squat patterns are great. Any adduction patterns are great. Um, the machine doesn't make the movement. You make the most out of the machine. And it's the contraction that's important. Doesn't matter what position you're in. I can create a lot of contraction with just a bend. And the body doesn't know what machine you're in. Remember, he, it just recognizes the tension that you're creating into your muscle. So we're gonna do, that's heavy, but 20 reps here and go from there. Oh, I'm having those pads too, to just add more range of motion. Push and out, not out. Push and out, or press and out. <sighs> Water. Water. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. Whew. Oh shit. Oh, that burns. Sometimes taking the opportunity to do a set when you're either sore or it burns like this, you get easier my muscle connection, especially on those days where you feel like everything is so difficult. Um, or especially in the beginning if you're a beginner you know if it takes you four or five days to recover and you want to do legs again and you're a little sore just use that to practice your mind muscle connection all right last set here super easy this today three three sets of 15 three sets three sets Nothing complicated, just straight to the point.
<sighs> I can do two plates on that normally. Easy. Oh, what a day. What a day. Oh, I know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't thought about this before. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to business now. Bob. All right. Hey, Bridges. You guys. I have no comments for today's workout, but it's okay. Just don't think, just do. And we're doing two more sets of as many reps as I can. I can't even count anyway, so 15, 12. Jackson, come for me. It's okay. Kim was like, you look fuller. I'm like, you look tighter. So when your muscles are depleted, which is necessary for, for competing, right? You need to deplete your muscle in order to like go dig into the places that you need to dig, which for me, it's my legs. So I'm not always gonna have my muscle like popping full, but there's a certain point where you need to refuel your, your glycogen levels. And that's when you feel full and nice. I just think yesterday was like a lot of food to digest. So that's why I feel like lethargic today, but it's gonna take me, you know, today to get rid of like the water, get another little night of sleep. And in two days, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, yeah. back. Back. Uno mas. Uno mas. Time, yeah, finish your cardio. All your girl fans are like, wow, I'm watching card er, I while know. I'm doing cardio. I think that's so cool. I know. Like, this is my motivation before I go do my workout or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Everyone's so supportive. Like, Jackson. Like, it makes nuts. sense because it's you, but at the same time, like, uh -huh. there's. I'm looking for a comment that isn't encouraging. Not in a bad way. I'm just like, wow, everyone loves you as you are. You know, it's just like such an encouraging message. It's, yeah, it gets me to me every time because that's what allows me to do what I love every day. Like, because of these people, that allows me to be who I am, you know? And obviously what I, the way I put myself out there, it's so easy for me. It's just raw and real and I don't need, I don't need to show up, you know? I had a discussion with a client today, Aldo, one of Aldo's clients that's also a friend of mine and she's kind of like the hype girl, right? So like in semi private she's the hype girl and she was like, I almost canceled today because I could not show up as like, grape the hype girl, yeah. And she was like, but thankfully like Aldo gave me a safe place of just coming here, 
getting my workout and I feel so much better. And I was like, yeah, this is what a good gym environment does to you. And I've been in so many gym environment and that's why I'm so spoiled because I can show up as myself every day and it allows me to be a human. And it's great because we're so vulnerable, you know, in a gym environment like that. And if you don't have a supportive environment, you know, it makes it a lot harder. Just harder. Yeah. It just makes it harder. And on no one else but you, you know, because nobody knows what fight you're fighting, you know. And it's no excuse either. But it's your time, you know, that's like the hour of the day that you get to be like completely yourself. So find a place that you can do that. All right, let's sit. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All good. All right. You don't want to leave anything in reserve, right? I'm not doing a set because I'm thinking of a, about another set. Like every set is like my last set. But if the last one felt really good and I don't feel my quads anywhere, I don't feel my back, it's all glutes. Today's a good day for hip bridges, so we're going to do another one. You know? So I'm going to do one last more here and then reverse, hi uh, reverse hypers. hypers. And then that's it. I always catch me on like my last two set, <laughs> two reps. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. It's good. Okay. I'm going to grab a little dumbbell. So really fun exercise here to finish off today. Um, I'm going to do some, I call them the standing Nordic ham curls because they do feel like that and they don't feel like a stiff, stiff like deadlift. The difference is just that you're pulling from your hamstrings a lot more than anything else, your glutes or anything. So I'm going to take a small dumbbell, like a 15 pounds. Don't even try to get the weight that you're doing stiff legs with. When you're going to go at the bar, that one is pretty high, but I would love to have it right under my knees, uh, right over my knees, sorry. And I'm just gonna lay on the bar. And from here, just try to drive my, my, my English is gone. Try to drive my knees under the bar and just pull from there. So here, like hanging, think about having no actual body and it's just you and your hamstring, basically, pulling you up. Yeah.
hard. Fried. Fried, like a chicken. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's workout. I'm gonna show you real quick my food because I feel like you guys ask, ask all the time. Obviously, I won't be able to do a full day of eating today at all. Um, but you guys saw my meal number one was my hog pancake. And then let me show you how I pack in the morning um, to come for kind of a full day at the gym. Um, yeah, let me show you. All right, so in my lunchbox, you guys, like I said, I packed my breakfast in the morning and then Here's what I'm going to have for the rest of the day. So meal post-workout right now is going to be brown rice with some ground chicken and some green, French green beans, very important. <laughs> then that would technically be my pre-workout meal, but I had a late start, like I said, so it's fine. Then post-workout meal is three ounces of sweet potatoes, some boiled chicken breasts, some greens again, and then once I'm done with that container, I have my four ounce of chicken with 28 grams of fire roasted salsa from Fresh Market. Fire. I, I finish a container once a week. It's so good. And then I'm gonna throw with my chicken and my salsa, some lettuce. I have two bag of shredded romaine and shredded iceberg and what a, I top it off with one ounce of avocado and some diced cucumber. I put salt on every of my food and then I top my salad off with some, normally the vegetable salt-free seasoning, but now I only had the garlic and herb. Um, I need to go to a grocery store, but that is that and that carries me on to more than half a day and then I'm gonna have two more meals once I get home my egg whites and one ounce of avocado and then another meal with just four ounces of boiled chicken so guys that concludes the video I hope you got some information you got some insights on how prep is going prep is going prep is definitely going uh, we have one more trip to Pittsburgh and that's the only trip I'm gonna have until the Olympia, which is in literally less than 30 days, which is absolutely crazy. So my suit is going to be the same. I'm ordering actually a new pair of shoes with like a higher platform, just to see if it takes a little bit of the bulkiness away from my quads. We're gonna try it out. Um, otherwise I'm just gonna wear the same shoe, um, same makeup artist, same hair same glutes and it's in Orlando so same weather and we're just gonna try to keep everything peaceful just how we started the prep that's how we're gonna finish it so I'm gonna get my 25 minutes of cardio done right now with some sprints every eight minutes of 45 seconds which has been keeping me full while leaning on my legs 
instead of doing jogging, which normally brings out a lot of lines into my legs, which we're trying not to have this year. So everything is going good, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. You know the drill. We'll see you in the next one. Blah, blah, blah.